Today's collectible spot, why we're having a look at Puppy in My Pocket. Series 1, these are fashion puppies. You can collect all 24. Includes one fashion puppy, one fashion accessory, hold on, and a checklist and exclusive mini collectible puppy. That's a lot in this little small bag. This comes to us from... Wait, does that actually say it comes from Meg? It comes from Meg. Some of the fashion puppies you can see going on there. Some are very, very fashionable. Look at all. Look at this one turning tables. Scratching some mixes. Scratching some fleas, too. I don't know what this one's doing. This one looks like it's texting. Is that a computer? A laptop? It's texting its friend in Ohio. It's like, hey, yeah, you know, things are fine. No. Uh, doghouse. Uh, doghouse is looking good. I put up some new drapes. It's a solid, solid layout. Uh, Hoping they'll change it up soon. Maybe something with the fall, when the fall comes around. On the back. Anything on the back? Yes, there is something on the back. You can go to my, well, what does that say? Pocketville, inmypocket.com. I peel the obtrusive, intrusive flap here. It says, for puppies with style, cool clothes only add to the fun. Each styling puppy comes with a removable fashion. You'll want to check, or you want to collect them all. I'm kind of hoping I get that one with the turntable. How about that? I think I would call that a day. Uh-oh, note, excessive brushing or water may damage your puppy's fuzzy coat. Warning not suitable for children under three years of age contains small parts. Was it say remove all attachments before giving this toy to a child? The attachments are not part of this toy. Please keep this package as a as clean legal proof of the origins of the product and retain for future reference. Product specifications subject to change. Kind of put a damp. We've just had a nice picnic and here came the rain. It rained all over our parade. That's what's happened here as well. Spot it's a dog. I. Yes, it is. It's puppy in my pocket. Your material grows old, my friends. Material. No, Spot loves it. You guys are the best. I don't know what I do without you guys sometimes. When I think to myself, I'm going through the aisles and I pick up something like puppy in my pocket, the first thing I think about is I think, yeah, the friends on YouTube, they'll love it. They'll eat that stuff right up. Open it up and inside we've got, they've got names as well. Let's look in. Let's look in. We got Clarissa. She's a runaway queen. We got Herman the Greyhound. Duke, the German Shepherd. He's the runaway king, apparently. Oh, Chaser. Was Chaser a Saluki? She's a DJ. Or he a DJ, I don't know. It could be a male or a female. Lady is a Scotch Terrier. A geek. That's alright. The friends go to her for advice, though. Alana, the Dashend, a seamstress. Montana, a golden retriever, is the gossip girl. So, if you just broke up with your girl or boy, you might want to not tell her unless you want everybody to know about it. Tiny is the toy poodle. She's the event coordinator. Although she doesn't invite everybody. And, uh, you know, to be fair, she doesn't really invite Lady. And I don't think that's right. I don't think that's right. Or Laddie. It's probably Laddie. George is the Golden Labrador. He's a drama student. He's excelling in the world. His parents are very proud. He's going to make something of his life. Unlike old co event coordinator down here. She's going to be, she's going to be found with her face uh, n nose deep into some kibble. She's going to totally... Uh, yeah. Roxy is the... What is that? Cairn Terrier. She's a cheerleader. Spike is a Boston Terrier. He's a hairstylist. Even though he doesn't really have much hair to speak of. Trixie would be better. Oh, see, she's a beauty assistant. I'm willing to take her advice a little more so because she's got hair. Spike, kind of like the bald guy who's the hairdresser. You know, you kind of want to get a second opinion. 
oh, you know what? I think you should totally have your hair like this. Yeah, you're bald. I'm pretty sure I should get a second opinion. I love bald people. Uh, Jake is a critic. Ivy is, oh, King Charles Spaniel. She's a fashion designer. Floppy is a basset hound. Jesse is a Skype terrier and fashion show. Oh, Sky Terrier. I was going to say, you know, if, if he was a Skype Terrier, he should totally be, like, working on Skype. Greta is an Afghan, uh, and she's a fashionista. Gertie is a Polish lowland. She's a sheepdog fashion historian. Nora is the Norfolk Terrier. I, I can't believe I've already eaten up five minutes. I, we haven't even looked at the dog yet. I know, you guys all are telling me down below, but we haven't even looked at the dog yet. Makeup artist. Bulldog is a judge. We're going to just skip through some of these. Scruff is a stylish. Fritz is a stagehand. Winston is a boxer. Down below, Zoe is an instructor. Oh, I guess that was a chalkboard. He's kind of cute, though. I like him. He's neat. Now, having said all that and eaten up over five minutes of your time, it's not really my time because, you know, I, I just I live here. I live in this backdrop, but you guys have places you need to be. So let's zip through this, shall we? Inside... Uh, okay, which one did we get here? Let me put the dog here. Let's reference my material here. Uh, let's see here. What do we got? No, don't worry. I'm just reviewing dogs. They're not being replaced yet. My cat's concerned. I don't know which one this is. It's got a little belt. Is there maybe other information going on? No, nothing else going on in here. The only thing I can ascertain... Oh, you know what? Makeup artist. The... the Outfit does not quite match its des its designer bio here. I, I guess that is Nora. She's a makeup artist. That's the closest one that I can think. No, no, no. Definitely no. All right, so there we have Nora. She's Norfolk, Norfolk Terrier. She's a makeup artist. She's fuzzy. She's got a little bit of the flocking going on there on the head, on the body there as well. Now, it says you can remove her outfit. It looks like it's just rubbery. Everybody's like, oh, it's become one of those videos, has it? Relax, I'm just taking the clothing off the dog. And she comes with, uh, I don't know, is that, is that just a dress shirt? With a little belt? It's rubbery. Makes it easy to remove off the dog. And this is good if you just want the dog as is. As is. You don't necessarily need the jacket. Good dog. Good dog. And also inside... Move the camera back a little bit. Also inside... We got ourselves some supplies. Excuse me. Let's put these aside for a second. Got ourselves a makeup kit. Or toolbox. Toolbox should have been the first one I said. Sounded a little more masculine than you notice where Spot's mind went, eh? Spot doesn't think toolbox, Spot thinks makeup kit. Although truth be told, if she's a you know whew, that saves myself somewhat. Is that a powder brush? I almost got lost. Is it it's either a powder brush or a really moldy, moldy orange that's got a little bow on the top. I'm going to assume it's a powder brush, you know. That's a good look. That's a good look. Also got ourselves a Star Trek communicator from the old vintage series. No, it's not. It's a, what do you call them? See, this is where I earn back my man card because I don't know what this is called. It's one of those things that women pull, pull out of their purse. They open up, they look at the mirror, they check them, check themselves before they have a date or Going out with her friends. This, I know, this looks like a hairbrush. Hairbrush. Put those all in there. Will it close? Not well. But it's in there. At least it's in there for safekeeping. And then the other thing we get is another dog. I don't know how this has worked. Is this... Are they related? I don't see the relation. This one's much softer, though. This one's nice. I like this one. This one's not bad. This one's nice and soft, though. Maybe that's her assistant. Her demands are really high, but she pays him well, so he doesn't really mind too much. He comes home and complains to his girlfriend, but... So there you go. This one was, what, Nora? This one doesn't really have a name, so let's give it a name now. 
I'm going to call him, hmm, what am I going to call him? What's a good name for this dog? I'm going to call him Govantry. Govantry, the assistant to Nora. Govantry sounds nice. Ooh, actually, that does sound nice. Govantry. I'm going to call this Govantry. This is the assistant to Nora. And uh, you know what? A cute dog. Cute little dog. He probably won't fit this. This is a little too big for him. But then we got Nora with a little dress up outfit. If you guys are interested in these, these are out now. You guys can pick them up. You can have as much fun as Spot has just had. Today we're having a look from Meg. Meg brought this to us. We're having a look today at Puppy in My Pocket. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next time.